Do you have a cluttered desktop or at least know someone that has one? Because if so, this is the application for your Macintosh. When it comes down to it, every once in a while your desktop or documents just get a little messy. Well, I have a solution for that. There's an application out there that will basically organize your Mac and not only will it organize it for your first time, but it will keep it organized and that's just amazing. If you take a little look at my past videos, or not, there's not really many past videos that I have with my desktop, my this used to be my old desktop, and it is cluttered with icons. Look at screenshots, 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 and I hate it, or hated it, because it's never going to be like that anymore. Look at my desktop now, it's all clean and organized, colored labels, etc. And if you look at my MacBook Air, which doesn't have the software, it's messy with screenshots, screenshots, screenshots. I take a lot of screenshots because when I develop websites, I take screenshots of like everything to piece to, to piece together the website. Um, so like I could basically copy YouTube and take a lot of screenshots and turn those screenshots into websites, if that makes any sense. So that's why I have all these screenshots and I really don't want them all on my desktop. So there's a service called Hazel that will not only, like I said before, Organize your Mac for the first time, but it keeps it organized. So I had all these screenshots on my desktop, downloaded Hazel, it organized it, and if I, yeah. and if I ever put another screenshot on my desktop automatically, it's going to move it to the screenshots folder. You know, you see how that works there? It's in your system preferences, so you open up system preferences, and then you have a Hazel uh, preference pane right there. And you have your three tabs folders, trash, and information. So Let's go on to the folder section. Right here, we click the folders we want it to manage. I'm going to, for example, use desktop. And here are all my rules. I want to throw away duplicate files and, and complete downloads after one hour. So this has a couple of sample rules right here. So movies, if it sees a movie of any kind, it's just going to send it to the movies folder. Just some of the standard stuff. And it does the same thing with music pictures, newly added files. It color labels them. Old files does the same thing, color labels. So I cancel that. So I enable all these rules. And another rule that I really don't want to demo, I just wanted to show you the, the samples, so I'm going to remove this, is how it keeps your Macintosh organized. So I added something called screenshots, since you know I take a lot of screenshots. And any screenshot that just appears on my desktop is going to automatically be sent to the screenshots folder. So, if I take a screenshot of NoodleSoft, it's going to appear right there and disappear because it just moved it to the screenshot folder. And here's NoodleSoft. If I want to take a picture of Simply Useful Math Software, screenshot, and then it disappears right onto the screenshots folder. That's how it keeps your Mac organized. So if you download a lot of movies and it stays in your downloads folder, well, this software right here, Hazel, can automatically take care of that for, for you. And that's what I love about it. So not only does this organize your Mac for the first time, but it keeps it clean. It's you, 7 o'clock. Thank you, Mac. Gosh, you can buy this uh, license key for $22. And if you don't want to do that, then you have 14 days for it to keep your Macintosh clean. You can clean it up for the first time. You have 13 more days for it to automatically keep your Mac clean without any problems. And then after 14 days, it's just not going to keep your Mac clean anymore. So um, you can download it, get the full or most of the full features, and it can clean your Mac up for 14 days. But after that, it won't. Um, I still haven't bought it yet, but it's on my list to do sometime soon. I've had it for a good 10 nine days um but that's basically how the folder section works the trash it deletes and this is per, bang that yeah, this is self-explanatory right here how you can delete files keep trash under one gig so if you download a movie and then drag it to the trash it's automatically going to delete it um enable absolutely this application, application it should um i don't even know what this is so let's try to delete it And actually, here we go. Opens up FrostWire, finds some files, and whatever this is. 
um, and I can move them to the trash. That's basically what AppSweep does, and that's pretty cool. So um, if I go to info, I can stop it and go modify some rules. So if I make the wrong rule, it's not going to automatically destroy my organized Mac. Um, I can show Hazel in the menu bar like it is right there. Um, I can check for updates daily, weekly, whatever. Um, and I can enter my license. I love this little button right here. So yeah, that's about it with Hazel. Um, I really recommend it. It's probably one of the best apps that I will ever use. Um, and now I need to go download it on my messy MacBook Pro, or Air, not Pro. So hope you enjoyed the video, and um, I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Comment, rate, subscribe, and yeah, follow me on Twitter. All that good information is below. Peace.